there, Coles here, and welcome back to LEGO Worlds. In today's video we're going to be doing the last achievement, which is, as you can see on the screen, the billionaire achievement, where you have to collect a billion studs. We're currently at, I think, oh, it says 153,000, it says in the top corner there. In the last video, uh, we did the a well-trained dragon achievement, so go and check that out. So that's why you blow up another player with a ridden dragon fireball. But on this one, we have to collect 1 billion studs. We're currently at 153 million. And basically, I'm having to come up with the best methods of collecting a lot of money fast. So I have two previous videos about well, getting money very quickly. And they involve digging a pit like this. And the first one, you put down these safety deposit boxes because these are, these are the objects that you get the most amount of money from, I believe. And once you've placed them, all you want to do is like copy it like this. And just place it on top of where it should be. There we go. And then you just want to keep placing it. On the first one you get no money, but then on the ones after, you can see you get quite a lot of money. Or at least he used to. What the heck? This is so weird. Alright, so the first one we're going to We'll try this, we'll try the stack of money first. I don't know why that one isn't working. There we go. And usually this gives off. Oh yeah, it would help if we we're actually inside. That gives off quite a lot of money. So basically you want to be staying in the pit. You don't want to be jumping out, which it does sometimes, which is very annoying. There we go, okay, now we're getting a lot of money quickly. Stowing up in the hundreds of thousands, very fast. Usually the safety deposit boxes give out like 200 grand every time you click. But for some reason they don't seem to be doing it. We'll try them again in a second. As you can see, this is a pretty quick method. It's still not that fast though. Like we can get a million in what? A minute? 30 seconds, something like that. I mean, we could time it once we get to the next million. Okay. I'm not timing, but. Alright, let's try these safety deposit boxes again. I don't know why it wasn't working before. Let's try two of them first. See if that makes a difference. Maybe it just doesn't like us doing loads of them at the same time. Maybe they've just got no money left. Pretty weird though, I don't know why it's doing that. Let's try these ones. Okay, we're we ready. Alright, look, these ones have way more money. What the heck? Maybe they run out of money. I imagine that maybe that is actually the problem. You just have to play some new ones or something. For whatever reason, they didn't want to work, did they? But as you can see, this method gives off like 200,000 every time you click. Sometimes more, sometimes maybe a little less. Yeah, that one was less. And that one... More, maybe. Okay, maybe it's closer to 130,000. But still, a very quick method. Oh, game nearly crashed. 
that's anything you have to watch out for. Alright, maybe if we only maybe if we did like two at a time it would it wouldn't be so glitchy. Let's try that. Alright, no, it doesn't really make a difference. Alright, oh, yeah, so we've made about 10 million since the start of the video. And that's been, what, like 10 minutes? So I guess by that average it would take what like a thousand a thousand minutes to get a thousand million. Which is what we need. It's a pretty quick method, but still it's gonna take a long time. That's many hours still. Yeah, so I think these safety deposit boxes are the only objects that give out those most purple coins, which I think are like 10,000 each or something, or 100,000. I think they're 10,000. These definitely give off the most money. So, I mean, yeah, we're all, uh, almost, we've already got 10 million in probably been about 4 minutes. Maybe not even that. Right, I guess we should go on to one of the other methods now. This one involves selling lots of crystals and gems. So we've got all these down here. Same setup, just dig a deep pit and put it all on one side because you don't want it all the way around like that because otherwise you'll end up jumping out of the hole, which I'll show you in a second. If I grab hold of all of these and try and do it, we just jump out of the hole and then we don't collect the money. Alright, so it's alright at the moment, but then we start pressing it and he jumps out. But if you only if you keep it to one side of the square, then he stays in the square, in the in the pit. Alright, so the other method you can try is somewhat similar. The setup is the same. You want to dig a pit about this deep and about this big. And you want to fill it with things that include gems and crystals and things like that. Um, because basically, you're going to do the same thing again. You need to include a bit of, I should have said earlier, but you need to include a bit of the ground. Because otherwise you, you can't just save, you can't just copy the objects themselves. You have to have a bit of ground in as well. So there we go. And you just want to place these on top. And as you can see, jewels start firing off everywhere. And you can collect 99 of each of them. And then you have to sell them. So, obviously to sell them, you have to sell... Yeah. So, obviously to sell them, there has to be a trader nearby. And they come every few days in the game. I can't remember. I don't know if there's like a specific interval of time where they turn up. As you can see, there's a whole load of money and jewels and stuff all over the place. Just let it stop glitching out for a second. It's going a bit crazy. Alright, there we go. Then you can go and collect them all. There's so many of them, it's ridiculous. Alright, hopefully we have 99 of each. I don't think we'll have 99 of all of them, it's just the ones that we had in those builds. Oh yeah, and uh, I should explain the next step as well. When the trader does arrive, you can just go ahead and trap them in a cage so they can't fly off. And that will help you somehow. Because then you can just repeatedly go back to the trader and sell everything you've just collected. So let's collect that. And... Um, Oh, why do we have to come around here? Come, turn around. Right, here we go. Right, so press circle to trade, and these are the stuff you can buy, then press square to sell. So then it shows all your items and your menu. 
and you can sell all the stuff that we just collected. So what have we got? We've got 99 of these, so we can, oh yeah, you can press square to go to the maximum amount, as you can see on the screen. There we go. And sell them all, that's like 900,000 almost. Sell all these, another 900,000. Sell all these, it's not quite 99, but there's 800,000 worth. And you just carry on doing that over and over. And you get quite a lot of money from it, as you can see. Sell this one. Sell this. Sell this. Oops. I accidentally went off the menu. Here we go. And then these ones, we don't have very many of them, so we won't bother with those. And as you can see, the potions, they get 50,000 each. I don't think there's any way of collecting them easily though. But if you have any spare, I guess you can go ahead and sell them. And get a lot of money for them. Alright, and then we've got fifth. These are worth 60,000, the magic beans. So we can go ahead and let's go and sell like 10 of those. For 11. Um, anything else? These seeds, they're worth a lot. Sell a bunch of these. Anything else? Oh, the dragon eggs. We just collected a bunch of these. These are easy to collect. You get a lot of money for those. They're probably the best ones to do, actually. So then press square again and sell. Oh my god, what's that? Almost 4 million. Alright, I guess that's probably the best way to do it. Because um, there is actually an object... The dragon egg nest. So that's what we're going to use this time. Let's type it in. Dragon egg nest. Obviously, these are just the plain dragon eggs. I don't think you can. I don't think there's any way to get a lot of the black ones quickly like this. But that's okay. These ones sell for forty thousand each anyway. So let's just do it. Oh, the red one, sorry. Not plain. Alright, that must be 99. I'm assuming. Let's have a look. There we go, 99 easily. Uh, let's go back to the trader and sell those again for 4 million. And we're pretty much just going to repeat this process until we have a billion. So, yeah, just give me a half an hour or so. I'll stop the recording here and I'll be back when I'm nearly there. One eternity later. Alright, so here we are back again. Um, it's been uh, five minutes. Definitely not several hours. We're now at 990 million, so we only have 10 million left to get. And I have to say that the quickest method is definitely this one. The reason being is that it only requires you to press X multiple times once you've set it up. So all you want to do, I mean I've already showed you this, but you're going to copy that. And we've got quite a... Uh, a neat setup here so all the money will kind of go to us because um, we've kind of changed the shape of the hole a bit so two of these things fit in and all the money comes forward and comes to us because if we put them in the middle like here pretty much the money can go either side of the uh, of the safety deposit boxes and then we don't collect it all but if it if it's all spit out forwards then we will collect all of it it also helps if we stand in the middle of the hole and not at the edge, which is currently what we're doing. So that's why we're not collecting quite all of it, but we're getting most of it. So you just spam the X button and you can see it goes up very quickly. You get like 100,000 every second or two. So obviously once you get to this point you can just you know listen to music or watch YouTube videos or whatever 
And all you have to do is sit and spam the X button and you'll get loads of money. Very simple method. Now, the dragon egg and, uh, and crystal slash gem method is pretty fun. It's pretty fun selling stuff to the traders. But it's much slower. We'll do, we'll do two rounds of that in a second once we get to, let's say, 995 million. Alright, there we go. There's a couple more over here. There we go. Um, so yeah, we'll quickly show the other the other method again. We've got these money stacks here. You don't get that much money from those. I was just trialing it. So yeah, this you get forty thousand for each egg, which is the most expensive item that you can farm. There are there are items that are worth more, but obviously you can't farm them. So, for example, I think a lot of the weapons are worth more. Let's go. Let's go and check at the trader. All right. So we can see. All right. This is worth two hundred thousand. The lava gun, one hundred eighty thousand. So obviously, it's quite a lot of money. But we only have one of them, so we don't want to sell those. Oh, here we go. Megazuka, five hundred thousand. Um. Alright, so here we go. The fire dragon egg, which is the one that we're going to get from this nest, is 40,000 each. We can't farm anything that's worth more. Uh, we've got the potions. You can't farm them, though. They're worth 50,000. And these keys are worth 75,000, which you also can't farm. So if you want to farm items, this is definitely the best one to go for. So... It's kind of the same thing as we did with the safety deposit boxes. We're just going to copy this and just spam the X button. And you'll see all the eggs fly up and we'll collect them all. It looks like we're collecting them really slowly every time it shows up on the screen that we're collecting an egg. But because we're collecting them so fast it doesn't show all of them. So at the start of this we had zero of these dragon eggs. And in just a moment, we'll probably have 99. Alright, let's try now. Let's collect all the ones that are left in here. Alright, let's see. How many did we get? There we go, 99. That was like 20 seconds of clicking the X. Alright, so let's sell those. All of them for almost 4 million sell, and now we're at 999 million, as you can see on the top left. So, I guess we'll just do that a couple more times. Alright, that's definitely enough. That's definitely going to be enough to get us over a million, I think. I guess we'll find out. Why did they turn away? What are you doing? Alright, walk away from the trader and then approach it again. There we go. Alright, here we go. 36 eggs. How much will they sell for? 1.4 million. That's going to take us over a billion. Are we ready for this? This is the last achievement we have to get. Oh... Oh. Um. Hello. Billion dollar achievement. Where are you? Well, that's awkward. Oh, there we go. On the bottom right, achievement unlocked, billionaire. Jeez, I thought it wasn't I thought it wasn't gonna work for a minute then. But there we have it guys. That is how to get a million studs. I think I managed to get like ten million in about five minutes. In fact I might have even been less than that. 
It basically depends how fast you can click the X button. And for how long. It's a task of speed and endurance. Um, but yeah, that is it from me. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful or whatever, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next video.